So, yes, just began. So, we just began. Okay? I'm extremely surprised of the amount of people. I mean, it's not only the weather, it's the title. Uh, this talk uh, was for Debian Day, and I was extremely surprised for the amount of people there, too. But this is going to be the advanced version because, come on, you are Debian developers. So, yeah. <laughs> so, sh just to know, how many of you know something about capabilities? Uh -huh. And of, from that amount, how many of you, it's only a rough idea, but not the details? <laughs> That's great. That talk is for you. Uh huh. Okay. So there is somebody who has no idea about capabilities. Okay. Great. Great. Awesome. So l l let's let's try to to go there. So you know the problem that we have in Unix systems. So otherwise, you are root. You are God. You are full power, or you are a simple user without any power at all. So this is the typical root, non-root problem. So Linux capability wants to tackle this, this kind of issues. Um, we have some solutions for, for, for that. One is, one is the bit sweet. Uh, how do you pronounce that in English? I said sweet. You said? S-U-I-D. Okay, S-U-I-D. And the other one is sudo. Um, so I hope that, Paul, that many of you are familiar with those concepts. So now we are, we are talking about capabilities. So this, these two approaches are a way to give a full power to a task, to a process, to a user, but only for a temporal moment, for, for some, some kind of limited scope. But we, we would like to, to, to to be more precise than that. So let's go to the example of ping. So, so many of you probably know that ping is with the bit SUID. Yes? So it's not working. And it's not working because Ping requires open a raw socket. Just that. And only, only, only root can open a raw socket. In the same way that only root can open a port under the 1024 and that kind of things. So we, we, need to give you, we need to give to Ping the capability of open a raw socket, but only that. I think it's this capability. Let me check here. Yes. See, so this version of ping, which is the same one, but without the bit suite, the bit SUID, um, can make the task without this bit, because it has, has the capability of open this raw port. So this is the classical basic example. So hands up if you get it. Let's continue. Uh -huh, yes, and, and the, the, why, why capability is important? Because it tries to, to make something about the minimum, uh, the minimum privilege, which is not the case with the other, with the pseudo or with, uh, with the SUID. So this, this concept of capabilities has been in the kernel since 2.2, which was quite time along. Um, but it's, it has the current form that, that is useful somehow uh, since 2.6.24 and requires extended uh, file attributes. Um, 
so it doesn't work on NFS and the kind of things. Uh, and the two basic commands are get cap and set cap. So these two commands are in this package. Comes with some other, other nice tools. Uh, get pickups, it's a way to, to know which is the capability of one process running. So let, let me show you. So let's run ping here. Yep, so this process is running with this capability. Um, this is the way that you use setcap. So you, you need, of course, a capability uh, from the sets of capabilities. You can find that set in the man page capabilities. It's like 35 different capabilities. Let's make a rough. Uh, so, for, for example, this one can change the owner of, can chown something. Uh, is that a word, isn't it? Yeah, chown. <laughs> uh, you, you can kill any process with this one. Uh, yes, you can open a raw circuit. You can, this one can, uh, allows you to bind a, a port less than uh, 1024. Of course, there is a capability for set capabilities. Yep. So you, you put a capability, you put an operator, and you, you put a set. Uh, this, that set, uh, it works like, yeah, uh, I think it's the next slide. So let's, let's, let's work on that after that. And of course, the file. And there's other package, lib, cap, ng, utils, which include other tools. Uh, Netcap lists the capabilities of the demons running in ports. Filecap is for files, and PSCaps is an extended version of getpcaps. So this is the example just for documentation. Uh -huh. So this looks like a way to avoid bit SUID. Uh, we have many of those. We have a list of those indeed. Uh, the list is collected by the security group uh, Debian, security, data, yes, suite. Yep, it's an extremely huge list. It's extremely outdated. Um, and let me check how many of those refers to root. Yes, like 300 of those are SUID of root. Yes, in Lenin, because this is based on Lenin. That's a bit, a bit, just a bit old. So the, the, the thing is only for, for, for SUID for, for root. Otherwise, we don't need these kind of things. We don't need capabilities because we are not running with any capabilities. So for example, uh, Unix CH uh, PWBD used to run with bit SUID, but not anymore, so that that's fixed somehow. And a funny other thing is that could be useful for other tools. Um, so let me show you Wireshark. So you, you're familiar with Wireshark. I love this program. And it's useful for a sniff, the network. Uh, but if you're running as a simple user, you can't sniff in any, any interface. If you run Wireshark, as root, you can. So that's right. But you have a, a, a warning saying, please don't run this program as root. So it's, yeah, you know, it's not that useful if you can't run Wireshack as root. So a, a way to fix this is with this command. So I, I'm extending this, this binary, dump cap, which is the process in charge of doing the actual sniffing with the capability of sniff. Um, 
And in this case, I can sniff as a simple user uh, without all the problems that I, I can have. I mean, Wireshark needs to parse a lot of things, and that's the typical of buffer overflow problems. So I, 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 um, I, can, I can be safe somehow uh, if, uh, if I run in this way instead of root. So probably you are all agree if, said, if I said that this is a better way to run Wireshark instead of root. Um, So the same case for TCP dump, which is of course another sniffer. We we can we can run um, these capabilities for NTP date, uh, but somebody says me that this program. Um, um, okay, never mind. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, we, we can run all all these programs with these capabilities. For example, this module, which allows you to to load the module to the kernel uh, for that binary. Um, and in that case, something nice happens. For example, in the case of the ping, if I, if I run the... Yes, uh, if, if I put the, this capability to the actual ping, which has the bit SUID, uh, I get a message in the kernel that... Mm -hmm. I get this message in the kernel. So the kernel noticed that this, this program has the ability to run with all the capabilities and only with this capability and select with the minimum privilege. So it's, it's great. So in the same way, you can, you can run this, uh, these binaries with the capability and won't run as root with all the capabilities. Will run as root, but only with few capabilities. Yes? So, uh, I, 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 now you need to, to be, be careful which, with who can run this program. So of course, if, if I modify my Wireshark, everybody in my computer can run Wireshark and sniff the network. So you need, to be, you need to be warned about that. So this thing about the flag sets. So I, I, I'm pretty sure that many of you are, are familiar with this concept. But in the permanent set, you, you have the the capability that is in your toolbox. And in the effective set, it's the capability that you have in your hand. So you can, you can drop a capability from your hand to the toolbox. If you drop the capability from the toolbox, you can't access that capability anymore. And if you uh, drop from your hand, you can cap it, uh, get it again from your toolbox. So it's a way to drop intermediate things and you, a way to disable temporary capabilities. In the case of the, the last one, it's a, it's a way, it's a, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, uh, the, the, it's the amount of capability that you allow to, for the SEC uh, syscall. The fork is not included here because the fork is a copy of the memory, so the fork is going to get the same amount of capabilities that the father. So there is another lovely um, package called it lip pump cap, which is a capability module for, for pump. This is the way to use it. In this scenario, I would like to, to give a user, call it semi-root, the capability of remove any file in my system without check the, 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 the permissions. Uh, so I, I need to, to give that capability to the user. That's going to put the, that capability in the P. Uh, in the toolbox, and in this case, for example, it's not in the toolbox. Otherwise, anybody can run any uh, RAM, RAM with any without any check. This capability disable the DAC check, so I should be careful not to put a P here. So when RM met semi root, uh, all the capabilities are there, and then semi root can remove any file in the system. Yes, uh, and only works for RM, of course, not for unlink or the kind of things. Uh -huh, uh, I have a demo of this, but let me show you something. I close it? Yes, okay, so it's not working now because it's a release critical bug, so please close it. <laughs> 
Um, so let's talk a bit about process capability. So that, that is a way to, to drop these capabilities. Um, I, I made a wonderful example in C, which is extremely long. So I, I made the same version in Python, which is seven lines. So <laughs> I will show you the seven lines version. It's a web server, which runs in the AT port. Uh, let me show you. So this uh, libcap ng has binding for Python. So that's why. Uh, the, the, the basic part of the server is not this one. It's just this one. So I'm city handler. I open a port here. And then I'm looping. Yes? So, of, of course, if, if I run it like, like that, everything goes nice, but remember NetCap, which is the version uh, that checks the in this case, this uh, HTTP server runs with full capabilities. Yes. So let's modify this. Let's include cap and G. And let's drop all the capabilities except this one. Cap net bind service. So is somebody exploit this process? Uh, the, the, the only capability that they have is oh, just bind a port under, under the 1024. So that's right. Of course, there is some drawbacks. So the, maybe the question here should be why we don't support this more out of the box. Uh, and probably the answer is because the normal tools doesn't support X attributes, extended attributes like move, CP, char, especially this start override. I have no idea what's that for, but yeah, that doesn't support X uh, attribute. Um, somehow it's a bit, something a bit not too explored. So that's great that you are here because now you can explore more about this. The, uh, yesterday or the day before, Luke asked me how to include capabilities in his packages, so that's great. Uh, but there is bigger problems, in, uh, in, in, even more. So the, the problem is that in some situations, give a capability to, to a user, yes. Okay, so I don't un understand why is it necessary that tools support this kind of capabilities because this is managed by the kernel, right? Uh, yes, uh, but the file, the, ha the file capability are supported by the file system. And for example, each time that I uh, upgrade my Wireshark, I need to set the capability again because I lose the e-node, so. Okay, so it would, not, it would not be a security hole, it would just be losing the, cap the possibility to use the tool with the needed capabilities. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's, it's somehow inconvenient. Mm -hmm. And we are an operating system, so we, we want to be convenient. <laughs> so in, in some scenarios, some capabilities can be a root equivalent, especially in, in scenarios where the arbitrary code execution is it's possible. For example, if you have the capability to, to override a uh, DAC, if you, if you ignore the DAC checks, uh, of course, you can check the you can change the etc password and get root easily. Um, if you have the possibility to change the permission of a file, you can change the 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 owner of etc password and get access easily. And the same applies to a uh, shadow. In this case, for example, you can only read, but you can make a rainbow attack or something, and you get root easily. And many, 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 many other examples. Uh, this one is fancy. So in this case, if you have kill and bind service, you can just change a service and steal credentials, for example. That's a nice one. 
So you, you can imagine all, a lot of weird scenarios where one capability gives you root access. So uh, even if you don't have any capability, the fact that you're running with root, it's, uh, it can, can allow you to, 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 to do something. For example, if you only have root, you can write on the cron hourly uh, your script, and eventually cron runs with root with the, all the capabilities, and the, the binary will be executed. Did you get that last example? Yes, probably yes. So that is, that is a even worse scenario where include capability can open new holes. So there is a fancy, fancy, fancy document. Let me. Uh -huh. This document is called Exploiting Capabilities. Wow. So uh, in this case, the mount just, yeah, it's not prepared to run uh, without the capability, but it's prepared to run as root. And yeah, mm, there is some attack where you can manipulate the empty, empty tab temp. So it's, it's an insecure temp file in the et cetera, and yeah. Of course, mount is already fixed, but if your application is somehow not prepared for, for Capabilities, not think about capabilities. You, you you make open a hole there, so be careful. So, yes. Yeah, I think something that may illustrate this uh, uh, medicine worse than the cure is that we well uh, we uh, as developers we should all no to fear SUID binaries. And, uh -huh. and the thing is, you did this uh, check and you, have, you found 300. But when you do an LS or a simple check on the file system, uh, files with capabilities do not uh, show. So you, you think you're safe. You think you have a system with no strange permissions. And I think that's also an important point. Yes, so the, the, l l let, me, let me transform that in a scenario so you can you can build a backdoor with capabilities and nobody will notice. So th I think that's, that's a lack of tools. So I, I mentioned somewhere here, but yeah, here. So s somehow there is a lack of tools. So a, a rootkit scanner should include this kind of check somehow. Yeah, but, but, but even, I mean, uh, when you uh, did an LS on SBIN root, it was shown in red. That could be nice, yes. Because LS uh, looks at uh, that. So it's not even a specific uh, security scanning tool. Mm -hmm. It's just the most everyday uh, command you run. Yes. And I, we I are agree. aware of your SUID. I so agree. Something yes, I agree. Um, yes, I agree. So, <laughs> so the, the second point is uh, this thing that could be useful for not, for not set uh, user ID programs. Uh, the Wireshark example, is, I think, is a good example. I have some other examples. Uh, so I make this, uh, I run this command, ps, uh, yes, cap, what's yes? Let, let me put this bigger. So as, as you can see, there are some, some of them which are running with capabilities, for example, Bluetooth D and genome curing demon. So I, I asked myself, okay, how they make it? Um, so I download the source. Thank you, Debian. Um, yes, in the post installed, uh, I'm not sure if it's clear enough to read it. I can. It's better. No, it's not better. <laughs> it is better. Okay. <laughs> um, so this this guy just ran set cup after they installed the thing. Pro probably is not the m most elegant way. We we have tools to set permissions. Maybe we should extend those tools. You know, to support this. Uh, if, if something funny, maybe, 
Fedora 15 uh, release without any bit SUID, and that was like two years ago, one year ago. So somehow they are afraid those bits. I don't know. I, I think it's a common feeling afraid these bits. Uh, on the other hand, they 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 usually be in binaries that have been in system forever, like ping. So nobody should be afraid of that. But yeah, they, they decide to remove every uh, bit uh, seducer ID uh, in Fedora 15. And Ubuntu is planning to do the same. Um, I, I'm not really sure. I, 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 maybe it's not worthy. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. And may, maybe, the, 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 maybe the profit is, maybe there is no profit. With Fedora already has a uh, SE Linux support, right? And so how would it, how would this tie to SE Linux? Yeah, the, the, the short answer is I don't know. Okay. So, uh, you, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 I think they, they try to, to go to similar problems, um, but yes, I try to use SE Linux and it's extremely complex. And I, maybe this is, is, a, is a way in the middle, not that complex. Uh, but I have no idea how they integrate both, so. Um, you started out with Ping as the first example for how to use capabilities. Mm -hmm. And Ping by default is set user ID root, so everyone is able to use it. Uh, capab uh, with turning on the capability, uh, you won't need to set UID root anymore. But you also bring up examples like TCP dump and mount, which mm -hmm. are not set UID root. Mm -hmm. By setting the capability, everyone would be able to use it with if its they, full ex extent. If they, if, they, if they can execute it, they will exercise the capability. So you, you need to remove the execution for everyone. OK. Just yes. to. OK. <laughs> So this, this point of capabilities are hard to understand. I, I think it's something, it's, it's not that hard, but as a Linux, so m m maybe it's, but, but yes, I, I, I was thinking here, sh should I defend capability? I, I don't feel an expert in capabilities, and I give in this talk somehow. So yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the path to go. Guna there. I can give you another microphone. Well, I was thinking maybe one of the reasons that uh, uh, Fedora was able to implement this and the uh, Ubuntu are on their way to is uh, precisely because they support very much more conservative setups. I mean, they can say, well, we will install with extended four. We will not uh, run on uh, NFS because uh, a very small fraction of their user base uh, uses it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't say that a majority of Debian installs uh, run on an NFS, mm -hmm. but we do have a, every time something is bound to break uh, a, a little minority of the systems, we have a flame war. Yes. Uh, recently we had this one about uh, a run, mm -hmm. for example. I totally agree, yes. Yeah, so. so. And then, yeah. do, do we have do two you? of those? We I mean microphones, no, uh, yeah. no Debian developers. <laughs> 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 do you know anything about the technical details, how Ubuntu is going to implement this? Do they put the capabilities into the data tar dot gets, uh, yeah, they, just have a list, they just have a list of, do they, they want to remove the bit. Yeah, but from if you list. install a package, Yes. I suppose they will set the capabilities on the file system uh, in some automatic way. Yes, you don't I have, have to do it manually. Yes, okay. I have no idea about the details. Yeah, no. because as far, as far, if I understood you correctly, it would be possible to have the pro ping, for example, be set UID and automatically set the capabilities and do the right thing mm -hmm. if you have extended attributes and mm -hmm. just skip the attributes and still do the thing it does today if you don't have extended attributes. Exactly, if you have both, uh, the kernel selects the less privileged one, yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes, they may, may, they maybe have the tools that we lack to in order to to support yeah. better the, this extended attribute in post digital and that kind of things. Yeah. And uh, you you can check it in that. Just way. as a remark, I think it's uh, in my opinion it sounds quite worthwhile because it's a security improvement and it's kind of an easier one than all the other alternatives like running a full SE Linux system mm -hmm. or AppArmor. But on the other hand. Um, what scares me a bit is that capabilities seem to be a lot of a mess. Uh, I mean, you showed it. There are silly capabilities that are root equivalent. Mm -hmm. And there was, I uh, think, a few months ago, a uh, LWN article about this, mm -hmm. too. They're discussing yes. this mess. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe we should also wait if the mess gets cleaned up first. Uh -huh. Yes. But, but, but meanwhile, I, I, I suggest that, that have better tools for that. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, you are not so there. Could you use it in the context of, say, like a daemon, where you want to prevent it from writing to temp, as an example? So. Any program can write to temp now. Yes. Can you reduce the, its privilege? You know, a normal privilege that any process would have. Can you eliminate? No, that? no. We are talking about root capabilities. Just root capabilities. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is this is thirty-five things that root can do, and we somehow we split it, and we can give those. Yes. <clears throat> So we, we left a lot of uh, links here. Uh, um, lucky enough, our Penta now support uh, slides uh, attached. So we, you can download those from Penta. Um, especially, well, this document is the, 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 the scary one. Uh, but yes, the other one are nice too. <laughs> so if you, so any of you have any more comments? I hope that you can learn something new today. Just one. Um, yes, sure. What do we do with KFreeBSD? Not that I care, but if we do it in Debian, um, it should somehow work there too. Yes. Does it? Probably not. They, they call it Linux capabilities. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, but they, they have something very similar. I mean, uh, uh, basically, Linux capabilities were copied over, at least uh, I first knew them in OpenBSD. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that hard doesn't. They they have some uh, kind of project to to. No, no, but but hard has a herd of demons. So. Okay. <laughs> no, but uh, K3BSD uh, will support. I don't know if it's the same set or the same nomenclature, but they do have capabilities. <laughs> but but it's a nice question. I mean, this imp tool improvement should include somehow. Yeah, do we still have time? Maybe. <coughs> Is it possible to do a CH UID with capability? Yes, it is there. So, and CH root? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Gunnar or Ronda. No, uh, basically, anything that uh, root can do was divided yes. in a set of uh, Small uh, things. Yeah, uh, uh, but uh, 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 35 groups of uh, is, uh, actions. Mm -hmm. So whatever a root can do that a regular user cannot do is in one of those sets. That's why, for example, I mean, it could sound uh, counterintuitive that he's presenting uh, capabilities as a way to not require root. <laughs> but one of the capabilities is the, uh, yes. becoming, uh, becoming root. So, well, that, that's the reason. Uh, I asked for CHUID, not set UID. CH. Is there any problem Yes, yes. No, I mean, it, 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 with set UID, you can just set UID zero and you're root. I mean, so, I, I, I was trying to illustrate the example that Gunnar says. If you give this capability to a process, the process can set set UID zero and it's root with all the capabilities. Yep. 
Y yes, Rhonda. If you want, I mean. <laughs> um, there was a question on ISC about um, how is the user space memory layout? Is there any chance to stuff out? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong. <laughs> That's from so the other channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Any other comment? So again, I, I hope that you, you could learn something new today. Uh, and okay, thank you for your time. <laughs>